Hi everyone, it's Mike here. So don't forget to click that subscribe and bell icon to receive a notification each time I upload a new video. It's Monday, the 22nd of April. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon. Ian and I have just had lunch out because it's still um, Easter Monday. So it's still part of the Easter weekend um, break. So Monday, traditionally in the UK, Easter Monday is a holiday, a bank holiday, we call them. Um, but also it happens to be um, Ian and mine, or our, <laughs> 20th anniversary today. Uh, Ian and I have been together for 20 years. So met on Easter Monday 1999. Spanning two centuries, I know. Um, so we're having a little bit of a, a quiet day. So we've had a little bit of a lunch out um, and then we're just kind of having a chilled day today. We're not really doing much at all. Um, having said that, I'm still putting laundry in and still doing that kind of stuff as you do because I'm just ordinary like everybody else. So the rest of the afternoon, not really sure what we're going to be doing. I might bring out one of my art journals and sit and do a little bit, just a little private art journaling. Um, nothing I'm going to video, but just maybe something um, just to occupy myself while I'm sitting and enjoying this glorious weather we've been having over the last few days. So um, I will probably catch up with you a little bit later. Ooh. William Morris mug, coffee mug look, the strawberry thief. This was a little anniversary present from Ian because he knows how much I love this pattern. <laughs> oh, hello. Yes, can I help you? What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you going to come sit next to me? Yeah. There we go. Comfy boy. Oh. He's just got himself comfortable next to me, although he was comfortable at the other side. Obviously, he just wants to sit next to his daddy, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Little monkey. It's 10 a.m. on Tuesday, the 23rd of April, and it's back to work with a bump today. Um, after the long Easter bank holiday weekend, um, not really doing much up here in the craft room, um, and then back to work. It would be a busy weekend on the website so I've got a mountain of orders that I need to um, print out, pick, pack, get ready for the post office uh, and get those over to the post office at some point today. Um, but we've also got a few jobs to do out today as well so it's going to be a busy old day so I haven't really got that much time to waste today. Um, Mr Bentley is fast asleep in his bed down here next to me snoozing. Um, he's been out for his WALK already. Ian's gone out um, to do errands that he needs to do as well this morning. Um, we've got a couple of appointments over in Barnsley later on this afternoon um, with the developers for for the new house. Um, so we'll be doing that as well. Um, like I said, got loads to do so I need to get this to the grindstone. So I'll catch up with you a little bit later. It's Wednesday, the 24th of April, 10.30 a.m. to be precise. So Ian and I got up fairly early this morning and kind of tidied the house up um, in readiness for our buyer's valuer to come and do the valuation assessment on the house, um, which he did do. He arrived bang on nine o'clock, um, spent about an hour um, going around obviously doing what valuers do, looking at the outside of the house and all that kind of stuff, the land, the boundaries, all that kind of thing. Um, and seem fairly happy. So he's now gone. Um, I've got or have been doing some website orders. So there's another pile up there on top of the microwave ready to be taken to the post office. So they were printed, picked, packed, booed and done. Um, so I've done that as well. Um, the sun's out. I've opened the back doors for Mr. Bentley so he can wander in and out as he pleases. But it's got a bit of a poorly tummy today. Um, so we're going to have to be careful about what we feed him is looking at me with those big brown beautiful eyes. What? <laughs> because he's hungry. 
um, we're having to give his tummy a rest, um, not feed him the normal stuff that we normally give him. Um, I'm going to give him some rice um, and some um, drier foods, if you know what I mean. What? I know, darling, I know you're hungry. I know, I want some breakfast too, but... Do you want to see this? I've got to turn it around. You can see his face, hang on. Poor baby. Hey, poor baby boy. You're feeling so badly done to, aren't you? Look at those eyes. Look at those eyes. How could you refuse those? <laughs> Talk about feeling guilty. Maybe in a little while. Maybe when he gets to lunchtime, we'll have something. Eh. <laughs> it's lunchtime and I've given in. <laughs> I'm just cooking something for me quickly. Um, and does some toast as well. Um, and I've put some biscuits out for Mr. Bentley. I can't, he's just looking at me. So <laughs> every time I walk into the kitchen, he just stands and stares up at me with those big brown puppy dog eyes. So I've put some dry food out for him. If he's hungry, he'll eat that. <laughs> but it doesn't help the guilt. <laughs> It's now a quarter to four and I'm already more than halfway to mum and dad's in the car, as you can see. Traffic's free flowing so it shouldn't take me that long to get there. But I just thought I would um, share a little story with you. Now this morning I told you that Mr Bentley had um, a poorly tummy which has made him loose to put it mildly. Um, when he goes to the toilet outside, he's kind of loose and runny. So, Ian took Mr. Bentley out for a walk around about two o'clock this afternoon, um, came back and then let Mr. Bentley out into the garden uh, to have a run around, play with Mr. Ted, as he normally does when he comes back, when the weather's nice. And about a quarter of an hour later, I hear Ian shriek <laughs> as Mr. Bentley comes back in from playing outside, having trodden on and walked through, <sighs> and then came paddling through the kitchen and into the lounge, leaving little stinky footprints behind him. <laughs> so needless to say, Mr. Bentley had to have his feet washed and the floor in the kitchen and the dining room also had to be washed down. <laughs> hey, you've got to love having pets, haven't you? It's Thursday, 25th. Just gone quarter to eight in the morning. And it's bloody raining. <laughs> well, what happened to the sunshine? Just waving goodbye to Dad. Oh. So, just starting my journey back to Leeds. Early, wet, and a tad cold this morning. So got back from mum and dad's around about quarter past nine this morning. Um, when I got back, Ian said that Mr. Bentley had been poorly overnight, had diarrhea, um, but also he'd been vomiting um, and there was blood or what looked like blood in his vomit. So, uh, but a bit bile kind of vomit, not, not solid stuff because he's not eating properly anyway. Um, so we've booked an appointment um, with the vet. So we're just going to nip down there now. So I will let you know what happens when we get back.
So, just got back from the vet. Ian's just taken Mr. Benthy out for a little bit of a walk. A WALK. Um, so, yeah, not very happy with the vet at all. Um, they wanted to um, hospitalise him. So, keep him in overnight, run x-rays on him, um, give him antibiotics and also a food thickener. Um, total cost around about £700. Totally unnecessary. The main symptoms for him is he has got a little bit of a fever. So his temperature's up. So he needs something to bring his temperature down. He's got diarrhoea. So he needs, like humans, you can take a tablet to sort diarrhoea out. So what's the doggy alternative? So, well, the doggy alternative is something called Vetpro. So he also needs antibiotics just in case. Antibiotics also bring his temperature down. How much do you think? Hmm, including the consultation, 90. So I wasn't very happy with the vets at all. So rather than just go, okay, let's treat the diarrhea, let's get his temperature down, uh, and then we'll see how he feels after that, after a couple of days. Now they immediately jump into the most expensive option, which is to hospitalize him and run x-rays. Honestly, they make you sick. Money grab him. So it's now uh, 3.40, 20 to four. And as you can see, I'm back in the car. Um, <laughs> so Mr. Bentley's doing much better. Uh, he's actually eaten. Uh, we've done him some rice and some tuna. Um, and he's, he's eaten quite a bit today. Um, so I'm happy about that. So I think I was probably right <laughs> in, in not having them x-ray and keep him in overnight. It's just ridiculous stuff. But yeah, he's doing a lot better. He's doing a lot better. He's comfy. Um, he's tired, but that's because he's been up all night. Um, and he's kind of been sleeping most of the day today, so bless him. Anyway, he's comfy. Um, Ian's going to be away this weekend. Um, he's back doing a steampunk show um, on the north east coast at uh, Whitby, the historic seaside town or fishing town of Whitby. I think Dracula, yes, that's the one. Um, but he's coming home every night. But he'll still need pack up, he'll still need a packed lunch. So I've got most of the things in, I got most of it yesterday when. I went shopping with mum and dad, um, but there was one or two bits and pieces that I I forgot. Well, I say forgot. Um, just didn't think about, which is different to forgetting really, isn't it? <laughs> um, because I'm a bad person. So I'm going down now uh, and just grab the few bits and bobs that he wants or he needs. Um, neither of us are really all that hungry at the minute so we're kind of just kind of looking at each other and pulling faces because neither of us can decide what we want to eat for dinner this evening we're just kind of like going mm, 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 I don't know um, so we're not going to bother to do anything big we'll just kind of graze from the fridge um, whatever's in there which is quite a lot actually considering I did a lot of grocery shopping yesterday um, so I'll just pick pretty much um, but I need to get some bottled water um, Bentley's got plenty of food in even though he's not eating so I've got plenty of rice and stuff I'll maybe do some pasta for him tomorrow for a bit of variation rather than rice bland meals is what we've been advised to give him so yeah so I'm gonna be on my own on Friday because he's going first thing tomorrow morning Friday um, but like I said, he's coming home every night, so it's going to be um, all day Friday, all day Saturday and all day Sunday that I'm going to be on my own. So I probably we'll get a chance um, to go and play in the craft room, maybe get some filming done uh, and maybe have a play in that lovely ragtime watercolour journal that I made. Uh, I'll, I'll show you what my intentions are for that journal. So I'm hoping to have a go at that. I've already done the prompts ready for May's mission inspiration, but don't panic. It doesn't go live until I think it's around about the 5th of May. So you've got plenty of time if you haven't done April's yet. 
but that's pretty much it. I mean, like I said, it's still Thursday, although it feels already like a Friday. Very strange. Good morning. It's about quarter past eight on Friday, the 26th of April, almost at the end of the month already. It just seems to have flown past this month. Um, it's early-ish, like I said, um, haven't been in the shower yet. Ian's gone off to his steampunk event over in Whitby. Um, I stayed up. I'm planning. I started planning um, videos for the entire of May um, because I've got to kind of build in a, a built-in kind of week um, for moving. So I need to make sure that I'm fully planned ahead, which I kind of am because I've got a seven day series that I've completely finished filming, editing, which is just ready for uploading. Um, that will cover the period of when we're kind of moving. But because I don't know when during May that's going to happen, I've still got to consider and build in videos like the normal vlogs, like the uh, mid month, um, sorry, the mid month mini mission in, in May, and also obviously the main mission inspiration in May. And all that kind of stuff. So that's kind of what I've been thinking about while I've been sat here drinking my morning coffee. Um, and then I've got to where I can do without really knowing a date. I know how many videos I need to film to fill the month of May. Um, so I can theoretically steal a march and actually start doing them and putting them on stock, if you know what I mean. Mm. So I shall have to put that to one side now because Mr. Bentley's come downstairs. He's now out of bed. He's now sitting in the window. I don't know if you can see him just there, look. There's too much light streaming into the window for you to see him properly. So he's sitting in the sunshine. Um, he's had a little bit of breakfast already. Um, he ate fairly well yesterday after we'd taken him to the vets and we started giving him um, his medication and stuff. So he only got up once in the middle of the night, about two o'clock in the morning, um, to go to go out. So that's a big improvement. There's been no more vomiting. Yes, I'm talking about you. He's looking at me now. Um, yeah, to be no more vomiting. Um, so things seem to be settling quite down, and he's actually eaten something already this morning. Um, I've put out some more tuna fish and rice for him this morning with his medication. And he's eaten some already, which is a miracle because he doesn't normally eat straight away on a morning. So I need to go and get this dirty body washed, dressed, and then I can take somebody out for his WALK. I'll catch you later. It's Saturday morning, 27th. And it's been raining practically non-stop since about lunchtime yesterday. But there's been a little bit of a break in the weather today, or this morning anyway. So I'm taking the opportunity of taking Mr B out before it gets any worse. So it's now about 11 a.m. And look who's here. Hello. <laughs> Good time. Oh, Mr. Bentley's saying hello. She's got a drink in her hand, be careful. So I'm decluttering. So Linda's come over to... <laughs> to come and film me, film me boot of my car. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much, yeah, I'm downsizing a lot of my resources um, consolidating so I've said to Linda that um, she can have whatever she wants to take today oh, I thought. 
That's me. No, mm. nothing yeah. to ever do um, that. Because, <laughs> yeah, no, because Linda also donates other stuff to people to sell so for I, charity. I, mm -hmm. So that's pretty much what the hope is, is that if there's anything... That I don't want, I donate it to charity. Exactly. So, and you've got a couple of good causes that you donate yes. to, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Something to do with kids and holidays. Yeah, and uh, old people's homes um, where they um, teach, you know, the old people, they have a crafting session. And obviously old people's homes have don't have a lot of funding. Yep. So I donate cards and stamps and inks and all sorts. So Excellent stuff. So anything that I can donate towards that, yeah. the better. Or we can donate towards yeah. that, the better. So, right, Mr. Bentley. He's quite down now. He's disappeared. That means he's up to no good. I know. <laughs> so, it's now about ten past one, and I'm sat in the dining room, and that's Linda. Kind of, she sat opposite me. <laughs> it's easier just to do it this way so you can see her and me at the same time without us both having to come all the way around because we've just sat down with another drinky. Cheers. Mm. So I've decluttered, um, I've gone through a lot of the drawers up in the craft room, um, we even went into the garage because there was something in there that I'd been squirrelling away, um, it's a stamp set, not just one set of stamps, a lot of stamps from one particular company that I've been hoarding for a long time uh, and I didn't want to let them go. And I got me mitts on them. Yes, so I've now <laughs> donated them all to Linda. So I finally said goodbye to them, so she better look after them or else. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so there's loads of stuff. You actually got your boot is full, isn't it? Boot's full. Yeah, so she's got like canvases and, and old books and, and lots of stuff that I'm never going to use again, don't have room, um, and all that kind of stuff, which she's going to be able to, to do with what she pleases with. So we're just having our final cup of tea. We've had lunch. I fed her as well, yeah, so yeah. I look after her far too much. Um, so <laughs> just having a final drink here, and then before the weather turns and gets any worse, because it's absolutely chucking it down with rain today. And it's very windy on the moors. It well, is on the M62. Yes, so Linda has to travel quite a distance back. Um, so before it gets too bad, we're just having a quick drink here, a final gossip, and then she's going to be getting off. So I'll catch you in a bit. Bye. It's going to be a long one today. It's quarter to nine. It's Sunday the 28th, I think it is today. It's sun back out again, so I thought we'd get out early, have a decent long walk, and then I've got the full kind of day to myself then, because Ian's back in Whitby again today, last day today. So he won't be home until probably at about seven, eight o'clock tonight. So I've got a good kind of like 11 hour run. So I need to do a few domestic chores today, but not much. Um, but I've got um, four episodes um, of a new series on the Sci-Fi Channel to catch up on, um, Project Blue Book. So I'm hopefully going to be able to put my feet up this afternoon. Sorry, I'm watching the dog, that's why my eyes are everywhere today. Um, but I've put my feet up this afternoon and just binge watch. That's the plan anyway. If we ever make it home, no, 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 stop eating grass. Naughty. Not when you've got breakfast. Just spotted this sign outside this house. <laughs> it's Sunday afternoon, and I've come up into the craft room to have a bit of a tidy up and a little bit of a play. So I've done um, a quick art journal page, that one there, um, which I'm going to film, edit, and I'm going to bank for that period when we actually start moving. 
I want to start, uh, I think I've mentioned this before, I want to start putting a bank of um, videos together so that if I don't get my camera set up in the new house straight away, you'll still be get you, as in my viewers and subscribers, will still be getting a steady stream of videos from me, even though I'm not able to record anything at that moment. And I'll start recording afresh as soon as my camera is set up in the new house. Um, I also wanted to come up and do a little bit of a tidy up because after Linda went yesterday, um, I kind of left the craft room in a bit of a state um, because we went through all drawers and all that kind of stuff, but I didn't necessarily put everything back in its place. So yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing now for the rest of the afternoon. I also probably may have a shave later. Um, it's getting a bit long and a bit straggly. Um, so. That's the plan. Ian's just phoned me. He's packing up in Whitby and setting off and ready, or getting ready to come home. So that's going to take him about another hour and a half. Um, he's told me he's going to stop off on the way home to get something to eat so that I don't have to cook anything, which is very nice of him because I'm not really hungry. I had a very big lunch today. Um, I had Swedish meatballs with pen pasta or penne pasta with tomato sauce and I ate far too much um, because there was only one of me. <laughs> and I can't cook for one. I still cook for two even though there's only one of us. Um, so yeah, so I'm rather full. I'm not going to be wanting to eat anything else for the next few hours or so, which is a blessing then. Um, so that's it for this week. I'm going to wrap this up, carry on tidying up, and then I will um, see you all in the next one. Bye for now. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you, these videos would not be possible. Thank you.